Hi guys, Nikki from Welsh Home Finders and I'm here again today to talk to you about how to get thousands of pounds more for your home. So are you thinking about renting or selling your property and you want to achieve the highest possible price for your home? So here's six hints and tips on how to achieve that highest price. So let's start at number one, curb appeal. So Everybody wants their home to look beautiful and stunning from the outside. So this means that you need to give it that image, you need to give it that look. If it's a painted property and the render has become a little bit deteriorated in colour, then just freshen it up and give it a little bit of paint. Maybe consider changing the windows or paint the windows if they're wooden. Just give it a bit of a revive and make sure that driveway is clear. That is your first impression, remember, then walk up the drives. Get rid of any weeds or overgrown areas. Make sure it's tidy and presentable looking. Number two, the kitchen. Okay, so the kitchen and the bathroom are the main centre points for selling or renting any property. They are the wow factors and they are so important. Now, if you feel your kitchen just needs a bit of revive and that it needs a bit more life into it or you want to give it that wow factor but you don't want to go and spend a fortune on the kitchen, that's fine. It's doable, okay? All you need to do is take the cupboards off, paint them and change the door handles. Pretty straightforward really, isn't it? But it can change a kitchen from looking like this to looking like this. <clears throat> now, which one would you buy? I know which one I would look at, but look at the difference. Look what a kitchen can do to a home. Third, paint it. Please, please don't use dark colours, okay? Dark colours or excessively bright colours are not going to help. You need to try and stay as neutral as possible. If you use dark colours, it's okay to have as a feature wall, but continually around the house makes the room look darker. If you make the room look darker, the rooms look smaller. If the rooms look smaller, then you won't achieve a highest selling price. At the end of the day, remember, your aim here is to achieve the highest selling price for your home. So what people all want is value for money. They all want to get the biggest house they can get for the budget that they have. So make sure that you do this by making it look bigger. Next is the garden. So we all love our gardens, we like a little bit of grass, but unfortunately we don't have time anymore to have high maintenance gardens. So therefore try and keep your garden as minimalistic as possible. Keeping it to a grass or paved area really helps this and can add thousands of pounds to your property because if you have too many trees and bushes in the garden, it can also make the garden look smaller, which again makes the plot look smaller. The smaller the plot, the less value somebody is going to play for the property. So try and make sure that you make the garden look as big and as low maintenance and easy maintenance as possible. You've also got to remember the bigger the garden or the more maintenance that the garden requires is going to put people off big cost to them every month because they'll have to employ a gardener or get time out of work to do that. So you're trying to make people feel encouraged that they want to use the garden. That's a nice, easy, low maintenance space. Number five, declutter, okay? We are a nation of hoarders, fact. We all love our bits and bobs, our memorabilia, or our auntie's dressing table. You have to remember, you're trying to make somebody see the value in your home. They also need to envision living in that home themselves and living in that property themselves. So you need to be able to show them that they can live in that property Take away family pictures, photos, things that are too personal. Allow them to live in it and feel like they can, you know, have a little seat on the sofa and imagine drinking a cup of tea or a glass of wine in the evening and relaxing. You need to make them feel like it would be somewhere for them. You can declutter very easily and storage only costs from a pound a day. Check out our sister website, Stratford Self Store. Um, but you can declutter very easily and it doesn't have to cost you a fortune to put it into storage for a short time just while you do that. The other thing when it comes to decluttering is pets. We all love our little munchkins. They are amazing. They are the best thing in the world to us. But some people don't want to meet your cat or your dog or your guinea pig 
or snake. Um, so make sure that you clear all the dog bowls and cat bowls away and make sure that your little pets aren't going to walk in on a viewing because that's the last thing you want is a buyer being put off because there is a pet walking in that they are either allergic to or afraid of that can cause a big issue for your selling price. At the end of the day, as I said, you want to achieve the highest selling price for your home. And number six, probably the most important out of them all, is style it, okay? Think about show homes. Show homes sell super, super quick. Why? Because they're the best plot on the development, because they have the biggest gardens, because they have a bigger garage, they have a bigger driveway, nothing. They don't sell because they have the best plot. They sell because of the way they are done interior-wise. If you think about it, 90% of show homes sell within a few days of them being put on the market. They are actually normally the worst plots with the worst road noise or the worst gardens or the worst views. But they sell because they look wow. So when you walk in, you go, wow, I'd love to live in this. Remember that that show home sells the rest of the houses on that development. So it is going to be amazing and it is going to be wow. So you want your house to look like that. Just even if it's a resale, doesn't mean it can't look like a show home. And it doesn't have to cost a fortune to do so either. You just need to use the right home styler to do that process for you. We do have a sister company again that can come in and style your property for you. Again, you don't have to be part of this. You don't have to be on the market with this. You can use them anyway. Um, if you look out Rachel Reed Interior Design, that will be your best bet. But yet yeah, they can style the property for you and make your image look so much better. At the end of the day, your aim is to get as many viewings as possible. The more viewings on your property, the more offers you get. The more offers you get, the higher the selling price and that's where you want to be. You want to be £10,000 up here and not £10,000 down there. That is the difference between your house being worth £250,000 and £260,000. It is all about image and doing that pre-work before you put it on the market. That's the difference between renting a property for £1,000 a month or £15,000 a month. It makes a difference. So go out there, have a go. Make sure you follow our hints and tips and do a few preliminary things before you go on the market. Hope this is helpful. If you need any more advice or guidance on your property needs, give us a call. See you next week. Bye-bye.